Welcome back. In this video, I've put the high yield information for each TB medication and I've put a mnemonic for the TB medications so you can remember them. So to remember all TB medications, you remember the word sniper. So S for streptomycin, N just never mind, forget it. I for isoniazide, which is also known as INH. P for pyrazinamide, E for ethambutol, and R for rifamycines. Now we'll talk about the high yield information for each medication that you'll need to remember for step one. So first off we have streptomycin, and the mechanism of action of streptomycin is that it interferes with the ribosomes of the bacteria, specifically the 30S component of the ribosome, and streptomycin is used as second line treatment for TB. And to remember the side effects of streptomycin, just remember the word VANT. So V for vertigo, A for ataxia, N for nephrotoxicity, and T for tinnitus. Next we have isoniazide, which is also known as INH, and the mechanism of action behind it is that it gets activated by the bacterial catalase peroxidase enzyme, which is encoded by the bacterial KG gene. And this will inhibit the mycolic acid synthesis of the bacteria. The famous side effects for isoniazide is that it causes hepatotoxicity by inhibiting cytochrome P450 and also causes drug-induced lupus, this is very important to know, and also causes vitamin B6 deficiency, this is also very important to know. The mechanism of resistance of isoniazide is under, under expression of the gene CATG. And note that isoniazide is the only medication of TB that can be used as monotherapy in prophylaxis in special cases. Next, pyrazinamide. And me the mechanism of action behind it is that it gets activated in the host phagos phagocytomes. So just remember, pyrazinamide starts with P, phagocytomes starts with P as well. And the side effects for pyrazinamide is hyperuricemia and hepatotoxicity as well. It's the only TB medication that can cause hyperuricemia. Next we have ethambutol. And the mechanism of action behind it is that it inhibits arabinocyl transferase enzyme, which will inhibit carbohydrate polymerization of the bacteria, to the thus inhibiting the peptidoglycan synthesis of the bacterial wall. The famous side effects for ethambutol is red-green color blindness of the eyes. So just remember, ethambutol starts with E, and the eyes start with E as well. Also, also you can remember it as ethambutol as ethambutol for eyes. So for rifamycin, just remember the four R's. So R as in rifamycin. RNA polymerase inhibition, which is the mechanism of action, ramps up the cytochrome P450. This is only for rifampine drug. It causes red body fluids and causes rapid resistance if used alone. The mechanism of resistance is reduced binding of the drug to the bacterial RNA polymerase. So that's in short how to remember the, the TB medications and the highly characteristic information of each medication that you'll need to memorize for the SMLE exam. And see you guys later.